Okay, stay on the cement, okay? two and a half hours yeah because what's our rule our rule is every hour we add 15 minutes and it's right on the money it counts for stopping at gas stations it wouldn't count if you were like gonna stop and eat at a restaurant but yeah grabbing food and getting back on the road it accounts for it so every hour at 15 minutes that means that when you're going slower than everybody else it accounts for it but today I think we're gonna be going on roads that we can actually go the speed limit maybe actually Georgia roads are kind of curvy which I would say would be about 45 miles an hour and they list 65 <laughs> so I, I guess we won't be going the speed limit again yeah maybe we'll see. maybe we'll see I think mm. East Coast roads are skinnier looks so cold and dreary out it is cold and dreary out one of the things I hate the most is having to get groceries right before we get to a campsite I don't even grocery shop I hate grocery shopping Jody goes in and does it. She enjoys it more. I don't even know if she enjoys it more. She tolerates it more. And uh, I hate it. Tell me tell me how much you love shopping at foreign grocery stores. <laughs> I appreciate my home grocery store so much more. I know where to go. I can get in. I can get out. But now I'm like, spaghetti sauce is not by the spaghetti noodles. <laughs> it's by the toilet paper. To Morganton Point Campground in Morganton, Morganton. I'm gonna butcher this, and someone's gonna be upset that I don't know how to say it. Morganton, uh, Georgia, and it's still cold and rainy. Tomorrow, though, is supposed to be 65 with sunballs. If I see sunballs, I'm just happy right now. Sunballs make me happy. We are camped right on the lake, which is super cool. So, I don't know where my children are anymore. If we're camped by water at all, they are there in the water. It is about 40 degrees outside. 47. <laughs> it's about 40 degrees outside, and my daughter comes running back up and asks for her water shoes. She wants to go get in the water. I was like, no. You look like you belong out here, son. Out here? Yeah. In this territory. Bye. Yeah, thank you. See, they forget to shut the door even when you're out in the wilderness. At home, in the wilderness, they never shut the door. I love it. Do you not love it? I love it. I love Are it. Are you worried? Tell everybody what happens when I go somewhere that I really get excited about and love. Well, we get on Zillow. I, I mean, Kristen gets on Zillow and starts looking at houses, so. I do. Uh -huh. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this bird. I wish I could show you, it's too far away. It's beautiful. Kristen, ha Kristen, I call her Dora whenever we get outside and she yeah. gets this level of excitement. When we go on a hike, it takes hours, especially if she finds something along the trail. It's true. The cool thing is that I pass this on to my children. If we find a, like an entry into a rock or a cave. Hours. Hours, we're done. 
why hike anymore? This lady over here is just like, why don't we hike till the next bend? I'm like, well, why not stop here? It's amazing and let's explore this area. Gotta get somewhere. This is why my kids get excited about acorns. Cause so do I. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't eat it. What is it? Can you touch it? What if it's poison spinning? Oh my gosh, they were a dog. Oh, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I told you, I told you it's something. I think it's dead, that's for you sure. You think it was alive? It's yeah. an eel. <gasps> oh. oh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think he just drooled a little. <laughs> was that snot or drool? I do both. <laughs> Benny got excited about it. Benny, what is it? I, it's, I, it's, I think it's a fishing lure. <laughs> no, I think that's, yeah, it is a little sparkly. I think and it's like, fake. It's gotta be, I don't, I think it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, consensus is in. It's a lure, smell it. Oh. Smell it. No, not eat it. Oh gosh. Smell it. That's a big, if you use this as a fishing lure, that's a big fish. I know, people are looking at us being like, that's not a fishing lure, that's a, that's a mer -mer -mer. Yeah, it's probably something smell gross. It. Does it smell no, fishy? I'm not gonna smell it. Amicalola. Maybe we should have our 10 year old try to sound this out for us. Amicalola. False. It doesn't matter. They'll, they'll pronounce it how I do. Well, I just think Rylan probably can figure it out better than we can. <laughs> huh. Probably. Probably. It should just. Oh, look, I spelled it right. Amicalola. Why do you have any doubt? We lost our camper keys. No, we didn't. We just yes! we have like four pairs with us. No, we have two. No, we have three at least. No, not of everything. All right. Well, hopefully it's none of the important keys. I hope it's just not sitting right outside the camper. Like, hey. like here, come on in. Yeah. Okay. Well, goodbye. We'll see. Let's go to Amacalola. Amacalola. Amicalola. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember. Okay, what are you looking for? A uh, ranger parker. Alright, let's go see. What are you looking for? An arrowhead. <laughs> No joke, the hardest thing for me with homeschooling them on the road is pulling them away to do something like math or reading or writing because they get so creative out here. They are so imaginative. It's so, so hard for me to prioritize some of these other things. So sometimes I use while we're driving for those things. They're stuck in the car anyways, so let's do a math or let's do our reading or writing. But when we get to these amazing places, I just think this is absolutely one of the most important things they should be doing. So let me show you what they have created. 
Hey Tegan, you ready? Give me the thumbs up sign. Good. So you guys have been working out here creating a pulley system. Yes. To bring this bucket up to us. So you don't have to climb up cons up and down consistently to bring water back to here. I made a pulley system so that we can fill the bucket up with water from the lake and then push it up. Because we have a smaller bucket on the thing and a bigger bucket over the fire. So it takes more little buckets. But, and so if he put it back on, I emptied it up there and then sent it back down. He could just unclip it again and put it back in the lake and grab more from the lake. And so either way, he would only have to go up and down twice. Right. Well, I mean once, sorry. Right. So he'd only have to go down once and up once. I haven't done it yet. Do you see? They have, they have been spending their morning building a pulley system. I just love it so much. You ready to go? Yep. Can we go paddle boarding, Tegan? Yeah. Yeah? This will be fun. This is a really pretty lake. Yeah. That'll be good. There's these massive prints in the water. Like, like, I'm guessing like an eagle or something? Huh. Scary houseboat? Eagle? Let's get out of here.